Go. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, how are we all doing? The last Saturday of the month, the 30th of May, at Home Workout 68. If you haven't seen our Sugar One already, our limited equipment option is going to see you complete in a team of two a new round every six minutes for 30 minutes. For those of you who aren't good at maths, that is five sets in total. Okay, each round is going to consist of 40 air squats. 20 burpees and a 400 meter relay run. That's going to see you doing 200 meters each. In regards to scaling and the intended stimulus, you can break up the air squats and the burpees however you wish. However, that relay run is a non negotiable. You both have to do half of the work each. Let's have a look at some of our movements then. So, our air squat, I know we've done loads of these before, but that's no excuse to not hit these points of performance. We're going to have our feet just outside shoulder width. Then I'm gonna to toe out to 11 and one on a clock face, or maybe 10 and two, but we don't wanna see extremes of three and nine. I'm then gonna have soft knees and then send my hips back and down whilst keeping my chest up. I'm looking to get my hip crease below my knees and stand up all the way, squeezing my bum and squeezing my core. Once you have done your air squats, we're going to move on to the burpee. What we're going to see is we're going to go down chest to floor, feet to hands, jump and clap. In regards to our scaling option, we can reduce that one to a down up to keep us moving nice and quick. Like so. As I said, you can split the air squats and the burpees up however you wish. However, that relay run is non-negotiable. We want you to treat each round as a sprint, guys. That is your workout piece. In regards to your warm-up, you're going to complete three rounds. You're going to do two minutes of moving, whether that's out on a bike, a quick jog, a sprint, or a walk. You're then going to do 10 air squats, 10 down-ups, 10 meters of high knees, and then 10 meters of butt kickers. That's your warm-up, nice and simple. However, for your accessories, we've got a treat for you. We have a core circuit. You're gonna do three sets. You're gonna do 20 lying heel touches, followed by 45 seconds in a side plank on the right, and then 45 seconds in a side plank on the left. And once you've completed those three movements, you're gonna rest for 60 seconds before starting another set. So, let's have a quick look at these movements. Your lying heel touches is gonna see you lying on your back, with your knees up. You're going to have your hands to the side as you rotate round and touch your heels. You want to keep your shoulders up and in a slight crunched position. Each touch is one rep, so you only do 20, you don't just do 40. Following that, we're going to get 45 seconds in a side plank. You're going to have your elbow under your shoulder, you're going to have your legs out extended, and you're going to have a straight line from my head to my heels. I'm going to be squeezing my bum, squeezing my tummy, I'm going to put my arm up, lift my leg up to make that harder still, and you're going to hold that for 45 seconds. If you need to make that easier, you can go for 30 seconds, or another way to scale that is going to be to do it on your knee, like this. You're going to get 45 seconds on the one side, 45 seconds on the other, and then rest for 60 seconds, like I said. So, last Saturday of the month, there you have it. You have your warm-up, you have your workout, and you have your accessories. Let's get after that one today, guys. We're looking forward to seeing all of your scores on Sugar Water.